Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. For this week's episode of Art History Minute, I'm going to explore a work of art that truly embodies the Renaissance. The equestrian statue of Gatta Malata by Donatello is a revival of a classic Roman tradition. So, to learn more, then keep on watching. Erasmo de Narni was a famous condottiero, or mercenary, in early Renaissance Venice. He was born to a poor family, but he quickly rose through the ranks of the mercenary world. Although we don't know where the nickname Gata Malata came from, we do know that it means honeyed cat. His memory was honored with this equestrian statue by Donatello. It was finished about 10 years after his death in 1453. Not only is a statue impressive in its size and material, but it is the first bronze equestrian statue seen in Italy in over 1,000 years. At this point in history, the technique for creating bronze sculptures had been lost to history. Donatello was inspired by the equestrian statue of Marcus Aurelius and set out to create an even more impressive work. Notice how the horse lifts one of its legs and just the tip of its hoof rests on the ball. The artist was able to create a portrait of Gata Malata, making him look both stern and powerful. Today, you can see this statue in Padua, which used to be under Venetian rule. This statue represents the revival of Roman artistic traditions that occurred during the Italian Renaissance. Donatello masterfully found a way to replicate the process while still adding his own flair. Mm -hmm. 